Greetings loves, it is I, Tactical Girlfriend. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing well. Today for you, I have a makeup tutorial. It's not very tactical. It's honestly not really related to anything I do on this channel, but it is something that a lot of people have asked. So by popular demand, I'm gonna do it. Now, this look is generally the look I've always been wearing on this channel. Um, it's a pretty extreme cat eye style. It's not necessarily gonna be for everybody, but feel free to take my makeup tips and run with it and do your own thing, or feel free to copy it. I really don't care. But this look is pretty iconic. I do wear it for every single video that I do, basically. And it's very bomb-proof. I've worn it at the range many, many times. In fact, generally always do. I've worn it when hiking. I've even worn it camping. Now, I'm absolutely crazy and you should never do this, but if you want to be as crazy as I am, then yeah, you absolutely can do it. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna start with is primer. Primer is really, really important here. The bomb proofness of this makeup style entirely comes from the primer. Without the primer, everything would smudge and it would get everywhere and it just absolutely won't work. So always start with a really good primer. You can even use a setting spray if you're really worried about it, but I actually just use the primer and that's all I really need. Now, the primer I'm using today is NYX HD Studio Photogenic. Um, it's a really basic drugstore primer. NYX is a great brand. They're vegan, they're fairly affordable, and they're really good quality. So I'm not here to shill for NYX or anything like that. They don't pay me to do anything for full transparency's sake, but that is what it is. Now. To start, we're gonna take this primer applicator and I'm just gonna go over my eyelids, over the areas that I wanna specifically just use the eyeliner for, the liquid eyeliner. We'll get into that later, but first we gotta start with the primer. So I'm gonna go and make my classic triangle shape over my eyelids, and from there I can then apply the liquid eyeliner. It's gonna go something like this. And I'm basically just outlining the area that I want to use liquid eyeliner for, and that's just kind of a big triangle. Now, once we've got our primer on, I'm not gonna blink too much here. I don't wanna smudge it, so I'm just gonna use a fan to dry it. And that's all you need to do. And then we're just gonna do the next eye, of course. Now, once again, I'm gonna use my fan to dry. Okay, now I'm ready to move on to the liquid eyeliner portion where I'm just gonna simply put liquid eyeliner in the shape that I desire on my eyelids. Um, the eyeliner that I'm using here is Maybelline Master Precise All Day. Um, it's a pretty decent liquid eyeliner. Generally, anything with a sharp brush tip is going to be my preference here. And I actually generally prefer to use the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. I just don't have any right now, but that is generally my preferred brand. I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record here and it's gonna sound like a NYX commercial, but I promise you it's just my personal preference. But anyway, just get a solid liquid eyeliner of any sort and whatever applicator works best for you, of course. And then what we're gonna do is start by creating an outline of the shape that I want to put on my eyelids. It's gonna basically just be a big triangle. Um, there's a few schools of thought about how you apply the eyeliner and at what angle. Um, generally, it's recommended that you follow your lower eyelid and you just make a tangential line where it leaves off, where it meets the upper eyelid, and that is going to be your line. You don't have to do that. I personally actually make mine a little bit more vertical because I'm more extreme in this look, but that's a general guideline that people tend to seem to recommend. You do you. Anyway, I'm just going to dive in here and just make whatever I want to do as far as shapes go. And start conservative here. You can always fan your eyeliner out. You can always expand it. Start small though. Now 
Now, once you have the triangle shape that you desire on your eyelid, you're just gonna fill it in. Now, once that's done, do the same thing. Take your fan and dry it off. And of course, you guessed it, do the other side. And again, dry. Now we've got our eyeliner on and yeah, it's probably not gonna be perfect or symmetrical. Don't panic, don't be a perfectionist at this stage. Again, you can always add more to it later and in fact, we probably will. We're gonna touch it up and I'll explain why. But right now, you're just getting a rough shape. Start small, make it easy, make it simple, make it clean. Next, I'm going to hit my waterline on my lower eyelids in order to create a little bit of darkness underneath them. And specifically, I also like to make a little angled corner on either side. I'll show you exactly what that looks like. Again, you do you. This is just personal taste. As you can see, it's a pretty subtle little angle that I have going on there that kind of exits near the corner of my eye a little bit beforehand. Um, that's just a little embellishment that I like to make. Um, there's no rhyme or reason for the angle. You just choose whatever looks good on your face and run with it. By the way, the eyeliner that I'm using for this is simply the NYX eye pencil. It's just an eyeliner pencil that's good for your waterline. I don't recommend using liquid eyeliner for this portion because it probably will run and it's hard to dry. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I've roughly got it right. The little corner angle, little sharp bits there. I don't even know what you really call them. Um, they aren't perfectly even. This is why you start small. So just take some time at the very end here to just even everything out and correct as necessary. And that's it. Really simple. Moving on, I'm then going to fill out and define my eyebrows. Uh, I generally like to use the NYX eyebrow pencil with a little handy brush applicator. Uh, this is a great one. I've actually ran out of the actual black part of it. So I'm going to be using a CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow pencil. It's also black. And then I'm just going to finish it off with the brush applicator on the NYX. All right, now from there, I'm going to use the NYX eyebrow pencil to use the brush to just simply even everything out and shape my eyebrows the way I want them. All right, and from there, if you did make a little bit of a mess, went over your lines, didn't really stay within your eyebrow shape that you wanted, that's okay. The best thing to do is just simply grab a Q-tip, wipe off any excess eyebrow pencil that you got, and then just clean up those edges.
That looks good to me. Now for the fun part, we're gonna get to the eyeshadow. First of all, I like to use a highlighter on the interior of my eyelids, pretty much up to the outer edge of my pupil, and then I kind of merge it with another color on the exterior. Um, for the highlighter, I'm using VIPG Heatwave. VIPG is just found on Etsy. They make all sorts of homebrew eyeshadow palettes, a lot of really cool colors. Um, there's no real rhyme or reason why I went with them. I just saw some cool colors and went with it, and I'm pretty happy. So I do recommend them. And then you're gonna just take a nice little applicator, get some of that highlighter on. And then what I like to do is simply go from the corner of my eyebrow to the corner of my eye, make a vertical line with that highlighter. Now, once I got my vertical line of highlighter, I'm then just gonna fill it out a little bit more in my upper eyelid so that it reaches the point of either my outer pupil or iris. Great. Now, what I like to do with some of the excess highlighter is actually put a little bit on my upper cheek in a kind of triangle shape, going this way, a little isosceles, kind of like this. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing with the other side. And once again, gonna put a little bit of highlighter on my upper cheek as well. Moving on, I'm then going to use a colored eyeshadow to create some accent marks on the exterior of my eyelids. For this, I'm using a really nice hot pink color. This is from Notoriously Morbid. It's called Unrecognizable Chromaticism. Uh, it's just a really nice hot pink that I like to use. And what we're gonna do is take the other side of our applicator Get a little bit of that color on there. And then what I'm going to want is to create a horizontal line coming out from underneath my eyebrows, basically, with this color. Just like that. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more of it and fill in the blank space on my upper eyelid. Then we're gonna take a clean-ish side of our applicator and we're just gonna blend your highlighter with your eyeshadow. Easy peasy. Do the same for the other side, of course. And that's that. You get a really nice blended look between your highlighter and your actual eyeshadow. And yeah, I just am realizing that some of this is not perfectly even. So I'm just gonna kinda expand those wings just a little bit and make sure that everything is looking fairly symmetrical here. Great. Now, from here, we're going to go back to our liquid eyeliner and we're simply going to just retouch the parts that we used the liquid eyeliner on in the first place. Redefine those areas. You got some eyeshadow on it for sure, and that's okay. So we're just gonna clean that up. And while we're doing this, we're also going to assess the symmetry of our wings. And we're just gonna make small corrections as necessary. And of course, once it's looking good, take a second to dry it. All right, now that we're satisfied with our liquid eyeliner portion, we're going to move on to mascara. Once again, we have something from NYX. This is the NYX Worth the Hype mascara. Again, just a really nice, bold kind of mascara that I like to use. Black, 
go figure. And, you know, put on mascara like you always do. Um, I personally like to get it on both sides of my eyelashes. I feel like that gives it good definition and it fills it out really nicely. Be gentle here. Obviously, you don't want to mess up all your nice uh, eyeshadow. That would be awful. It's not the end of the world if you do. You can always apply more and you can wipe some off. It's not the end of the world, but gentle strokes definitely go a long way here. And once again, dry. And now for the last touch here, I've often put a little embellishment mark with my liquid eyeliner in the very lower corner below my eye on my cheek. Um, I have traditionally drawn things on with my liquid eyeliner, but I've actually moved on to the ColourPop QT mark. Um, these are great because they're just stamps and you don't have to even think about it. I like crescent shapes, obviously, you know, but, uh, you know, you do you. There's a bunch of different shapes, and all you do is just pop one little stamp in that corner, and voila, we are done. And finally, let's take one last look here, make sure everything is looking good. There's no weird splotches from my mascara and my liquid eyeliner. Everything's looking even and symmetrical. This is not my best work by any means. I have done better than this, but this is just a quick and dirty, easy tutorial for you to follow. This is by no means something that I'm telling you all to copy. Just take my advice and run with it and make it your own. And again, if you do really want to copy it, that's perfectly fine with me too. Everyone's going to have their own eye shapes and sizes and their faces are obviously going to change how they apply this makeup. So there's going to be some adaptation necessary for it to suit you, regardless of what you end up doing, and just keep that in mind. Now this is simply an eye tutorial, obviously, you're not going to see the rest of my face here, but rest assured, generally this is kind of the majority of what the makeup that I do looks like anyway, short of just, you know, putting on some lipstick. So I really hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you found this useful, if not just entertaining. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell too. Now I know this isn't like normal content for TGF and don't worry, there will be more guns. I know there were no guns in this video, but regardless, I do kind of like doing these little side vignettes where I can and you know, whatever people find interesting, I'm happy to make it. This channel is by no means necessarily dictated by my original mission statement and the intents that I have about covering gear and techniques around firearms. It really can just be whatever. So. Love hearing more about what people want. If you all have other requests out there, I would love to hear more about it. So feel free to chime in in the comments below. As always, I want to give a huge shout out to the real MVPs out there on Patreon. Y'all are the real all-stars of this show and I could not do any of this without you. This channel relies on the voluntary contributions of viewers like you. I don't want to rely on ads. I don't like YouTube. I don't like Google. I don't want to play by their rules. I simply just want people to give what they want to give, and I'm gracious and thankful for all of that. So if you do want to help chip in, you can always go to patreon.com slash tacticalgf. The biggest contributors are named at the end of the video. And those are all the makeup tips and tricks that I got for you today. I really appreciate you all tuning in. Please be good to each other out there, and as always, please take care. Bye!